This full moon is one of the most revealing moons of the year in terms of your own attachments, beliefs, and patterns, and also the historical repeated patterns of the world. A perfect storm is brewing right now, both in the macro and micro environments. There has been an incredible amount of resistance to change in the world around us, from holding on to old ideologies and misinformed beliefs to false power. And I'm seeing this unwillingness to change playing out in so many situations from politics, relationships, and finance to health. But this full moon, since it's a buck moon, it will invite us to shed our outgrown ways that no longer serve us, just as bucks do when they shed their antlers. It's time to identify what in your life is obsolete and what is no longer in need of your attention and energy. Now let's dive into this particular full moon. My name is Masami Kavi. I'm a health intuitive, functional nutritional therapist, and a moon enthusiast. I lead women in rediscovering the wisdom of living with the lunar cycles during and beyond menopause. If you're interested in lunar cycles, learning about moon wisdom, and how the moon impacts various organs, systems, hormones, and even fascia, please subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up so others can find me in the YouTube universe and join my monthly moon wisdom class by clicking the link that we'll put below this video. This full moon is a time of celebration and also crisis. As I said in my monthly moon wisdom class at the beginning of this month, this full moon is a great equalizer, including both celebration and crisis. So let's look at celebration first. This full moon is a fantastic time to celebrate both the wonders of the moon and humanity's achievements, especially in space exploration. That's because this full moon shines this weekend on the 55th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing. So we are certainly acknowledging and remembering human accomplishments this weekend. And through our continued exploration, especially cosmically, both outwardly and inwardly, we're learning so much about our inner cosmology as well and how to better support our biology and physiology. So as you look up to the sky, lit up with the full moon, this is your chance to celebrate your inner life as well as your accomplishments. Be sure to take a moment to acknowledge the great beauty and the mystery that is both inside you and outside of you. In terms of the crisis, as I talked about in my monthly moon wisdom class, we're being bombarded with apocalyptic thoughts and messages. And we can certainly feel and see crisis brewing all around us from man-made wars, geopolitical conflicts, and financial disparities to global climate change. And the best example of this was what happened today as I was preparing for this video. We learned that there was a major, and I mean major, global tech outage that caused tremendous disruptions for businesses, including Microsoft, financial services and banks, airlines around the world, health and emergency services, and TV broadcasts. Although this wasn't a cyber attack, this tech meltdown is the largest IT outage in history, and it is a litmus test of how vulnerable and fragile our collective system is. And what's even more interesting is that the IT meltdown also coincided with the most visible sunspots on the sun's surface of solar cycle 25 so far. So I can't help it but to think there's this perfect storm gathering force, not just in one area of our lives, but in many spots of our collective lives. And just as bucks do, we need to shed our old antlers. We need to consciously shed our old patterns, old beliefs, and old behavior. But I can also see an incredible amount of resistance in the world, especially in the world of politics and geopolitical ideology. Old patterns are stubbornly holding on, and in many cases, they are galvanizing and hardening and continuing to resist the shifts and the need to relinquish the old ways. So it's important that you consciously set aside some time for your internal reset 
and reboot during this full moon weekend. Start with where you are and begin to work on softening and relaxing the grip. And I was literally working on my own hands and wrists today to loosen up the patterned gestures because we can hold on like this or even at rest, you might actually notice yourself gripping, holding on, tightening your hands, your wrists are getting tight, your fingers are getting tight. So just notice these kind of a gripping patterns that you may unconsciously holding on to. I will talk more about this in the upcoming Moon Wisdom class in August, but your hands reflect much of what is happening inside you, especially your brain and heart health. So take a moment to relax your hands and massage your beautiful hands as often as you can. And when I was tuning into this full moon, another image came to me that kind of surprised me, but that it was an image of Simone Biles, one of the most celebrated gymnasts in the world. And I started to remember what happened when she was in Tokyo Olympics. So after she withdrew from Tokyo Olympics team final, she said, quote, this Olympic games, I want it to be for myself. I came in and felt like I was still doing it for other people. That just hurts my heart that doing what I love has been kind of taken away from me to please other people, unquote. I think many of us are also faced with this internal crisis, doing things just because it's expected of you or that it is the right thing to do according to society and offering so much of who you are, even though you know you need to stop and rest simply because you have been programmed to believe it's what you are supposed to do. So I urge you to ask questions like this. Are you performing for someone else? Are you working so hard to meet someone else's benchmark? Are you saying yes, just because your business coach said to do it? As I said, this full moon is a great equalizer that will illuminate the areas of your inner crisis and that calls for celebration because it means you can stop yourself before this internal crisis becomes the source of your disease or worse yet, begins to break you down. This full buck moon certainly reveals what you need to shed so you don't end up at the crisis point and also will give you the opportunity to celebrate and cherish your accomplishments. Make the best of this full moon in identifying your inner crisis and make sure to celebrate your achievements. We're now also in pre-Mercury retrograde shadow, so be sure to take some time to wrap up unfinished business, clear your things to-do list, and be sure to update your electronics before we head into Mercury retrograde. Lastly, after you have sincerely shed some of your old patterns and beliefs that are keeping you small and dimmed, it's time to soak up the light during this full moon. I recommend you try moon bathing. Step outside into the illuminating light at night and absorb the grace of this reflective power. Moon bathing has been known in Ayurveda to soothe and balance the nervous system and cool down inflammation. I use this practice a lot in my work as well as in my own life to balance hormones as I celebrate my postmenopausal body. Let me know how your moon bathing goes over the weekend by leaving comments for me. I love reading them. Really, they uplift me and they actually illuminate my light as well. So I appreciate you leaving some of your thoughts. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I appreciate you giving me a thumbs up. I look forward to being with you soon again. Happy full moon. Namaste.